Today I have a shopper drop for you where I share with you all of the new makeup releases and whether or not I will be shopping for them or dropping them from my shopping list. Of course this is inspired by Samantha March's Will I Buy It series. We've had some new makeup items come out recently so I wanted to talk about it. I wanted to talk about all the new new. Let's get straight into it. So first we have a new lipstick formula from YSL. This is the Bold High Pigment Lipstick. For me, this is a drop. I don't plan on picking this up. The colors look really gorgeous. I'm liking that mauve pinky color in the center. Very predictable for me. I don't know, it kind of looks like the same lipsticks that they already have in their permanent line with a little less cute packaging and I just am not on the market for any lip products at the moment. I'm using what I have and unless something really stands out to me, I'm not gonna pick it up. So this does not really appeal to me. I actually am not the biggest expert on YSL Beauty, so this isn't kind of one of my target brands as well. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pass on that. I'm going to quickly mention this because this is a brand that is starting to intrigue me, Rose Ink. I think this is Rosie, is it Rosie Huntington, the model? <laughs> I can't remember her name at the top of my head, but this is her makeup brand and I happened to see her display at one of the Sephora's near me and the brand itself is of interest to me. So I'm going to say drop on these specific new products. There are new shades of the Divine Clean Dewy Cream Blush and they look gorgeous and everything from the brand, honestly, it really intrigues me. So the brand is on my wish list to try in general, but these products, this launch itself, doesn't excite me though it did remind me that I had interest in trying the brand but drop on the product though I probably will end up picking up some of these colors when I try from the brand because these colors look so neutral and beautiful I love the look of the model in her promo pictures here so these are available now if you're curious they're a drop at the moment but I think they look gorgeous okay I did get asked about this this is the Kathleen Lights and Il Maquillage collaboration. This at the moment, it, it's a drop for me. Honestly, I'm not really interested. I used to be the biggest Kathleen Lights fan back in the day. I would purchase all of her collabs with ColourPop. And while this collection looks really gorgeous, I simply don't need it. Kathleen Lights, she, you know, she's so busy with her brand, her nail polish brand. She doesn't post on YouTube as often, so I fell off kind of watching her, so I don't feel the need to support her as much as I used to. I'm not really so familiar with Il Maquillage. While the collection looks gorgeous and the looks look beautiful, I don't need it, so I'm not gonna buy it. So this is a drop, but congratulations to Kathleen. It does look like a beautiful collection, and if you picked it up and try it, let me know your thoughts down below and if you will plan on picking it up. But it was available August 4th, so I don't know if it's sold out, but you are able to get it. Okay, we have the new Chantecaille collection. Honestly, these look gorgeous. It says coming soon on their website. I am into the quad on the right, the one that has more neutral tones. That looks really beautiful, but honestly, the one on the left looks stunning as well. We also have some lipsticks. Chantecaille has a beautiful lipstick formulation. Ah, <sighs> it's gonna be a drop for me. I mean, I talk about Chantecaille and I say the same thing every time. They create absolutely stunningly beautiful products. Amazing quality, but I think they're a bit overpriced. You know, when you can get their items on sale, it's a great time to pick up Chantecaille products because they really do have high quality products. And there are certain items from their line where even though they are crazy expensive, they're still worth it. Chantecaille is still one of those brands where I'm like, it pinches a little harder than the others, you know, to purchase. So that is, that is a drop for me. Okay, I was this close to picking this up. This is the RMS, the Revolve Natural Finish Liquid Foundation. I didn't pick it up because it was only available on their website and it wasn't available on Sephora yet and I wanted to place a Sephora order. So I didn't end up picking this up, but I am certainly very interested. RMS Beauty is slowly climbing up on my radar. I recently tried a couple items from the brand that I was like, Wait, this is really, really good. So I am interested in this. I'm going to say shop. I feel like this is a foundation that I'm going to pick up when I place a Sephora order very, very soon. It's a silicone-free skincare infused. 
I don't like skincare infused foundations, if you don't know. Daily wear liquid foundation, fresh feeling and easy to blend, blah, 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 medium coverage, satin natural finish, hydrates firm, softens the skin. Okay, it sounds great. I want to try it. So that is, that's the shop. I didn't pick it up on launch date, but I am interested in this for sure. ColourPop launched a new palette, and I actually do have this in my PR pile right now. If you don't know, both of my sets of parents are here, so my parents and then my husband's parents are visiting right now, so my PR is kind of stacking up. I haven't really dug into anything other than opening it, but they launched this matte about hue hue palette and it's an all matte rainbow palette i'm excited about this now if it wasn't sent to me it would be a drop but one of my favorite matte rainbow palettes from viziart which is like 150 dollars this is a good dupe for that and it's a lot more affordable but how many times am i reaching for my all matte rainbow palette not very often so it would be a drop for me however if you are in need of an all matte rainbow palette or just to have like staple colors in your collection maybe you don't reach for them but you want to have them just in case for an event or whatever i think that this is great now i can't speak on the quality yet this launched august 4th so it is available i'll have it linked down below if you want to pick it up. I think this is a great launch. Now ColourPop has launched a lot of rainbow palettes in the past so I don't know how necessary this was but I think it's a great idea to get a bunch of different shades of matte colorful shades. So I think it's a great idea. I think it's a great addition to their collection but it would be a drop for me just because I'm boring. I'm just boring. Oh, this is interesting. I missed this launch from M Cosmetics. And I look at Trend Mood a lot. I don't know how I missed it. This is the new Everglass Lip Dew from M Cosmetics. It looks like it is currently available. It is a glass-like shine, lightweight gloss serum gel hybrid with the luxurious, luxurious, I can't speak today, comfort of a balm. M Cosmetics does a great job with taking like trends about makeup but making them their own. As always, the packaging looks stunning. The colors look like my neutral dream. At the moment, it is a drop for me. I'm not gonna pick it up. Like I said, I am overwhelmed with lip products. It has to be something super duper interesting for me for me to pick it up or for a specific video. I don't see myself utilizing this in a specific video, so it doesn't make sense for me. But M Cosmetics, honestly, from what I've tried, they can do no wrong. They come out with some great products. So if this sounds like a product that you'd be interested in, I can almost guarantee you it's probably an amazing product, but not something that I need. We also have the new Strawberry Feels collection from Jaclyn Cosmetics. So we have the Strawberry Feels palette for $34, the Pout Spoken Liquid Lipstick Shades, liners as well, and a jelly lip mask. So this, for me, is the least interesting collection that Jaclyn has ever launched. So it's going to be a drop for me. It's very, very, very pink. The lip colors are more bright than I would ever wear, which is a shame because I do like buying bright lip colors but then I never end up wearing them so the lips are definitely a no and even the eyeshadow palette I I just feel like I can get that with ColourPop you know ColourPop has so many pink palettes so for me of all of the Jaclyn Cosmetics collections this one is the least interesting so I'm going to drop it but you guys know if a collection does interest me from her I do pick it up this is the first one where it feels a little disconnected from the line if you ask me it's kind of random very pinky it just it feels like a limited edition collection to me and not one that I want to get my hands on so I feel like it's launching and then nobody's gonna remember the collection after this at least that's what I feel like so I don't plan on picking this up obviously oh this one this one is interesting I totally plan on shopping this I'm already telling you before I even tell you what it is this is the house labs triclone skin tech foundation 50 shades okay okay it's a lot of shades I'm excited. This is definitely a shop. I did a whole review on the makeup line the day that it first launched. It's always exciting when a brand dives into foundation. I don't know. I feel like foundation can make or break a brand. And it's always scary for a brand to come out with foundation or just complexion in general. It's such a big venture. I'm really excited to see what they do with this. Now, 
I don't believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe they came out with a foundation in the prior House Labs line. So I'm excited about this. I don't see too much information on this, but I'm definitely very curious. This is an absolute, absolute shop for me. I want to know about what this brand can do with foundation. Like it has to be full coverage, right? It's Lady Gaga. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, so next up, we have the Makeup Forever HD Skin Twist and Lighting Up Powder. This looks interesting. It looks like it incorporates color correction into a powder. It says, unifies, corrects, and revitalizes your complexion. 24 hours, blurs, and radiance comes in four different harmonies. I love that. I love that they use the word harmonies. This is a shock. Makeup Forever is a brand that I feel like just produces genuinely really good product. I don't typically enjoy using powders that are like this. I kind of like a straight up translucent or like skin tone powder, but I'm intrigued for sure and I do plan on picking this up at the current moment. It does not look like we have a date of launch, but I'm very interested in this for sure. This one, okay, I spoke a little bit about this on my community tab and Instagram because I couldn't keep it to myself. I had to tell you guys right away, but Gucci just launched a new eyeshadow palette. And I don't know if you're familiar with my channel or not, but if you watch my palette videos a lot, I have talked about, especially when this first launched, the first Gucci eyeshadow palette that they ever launched was a disaster. I hated that palette. It felt so cheap in terms of quality. It was cheap quality makeup, which is crazy because their line I find to actually be quite luxurious. Everything about it was bad besides the packaging, which was top of the line. <laughs> and I feel the exact same way about this palette. Top of the line packaging looks so stunningly gorgeous. First of all, the eyeshadow colors kind of look the same as the first palette. They look random-ish, a little bit more cohesion in this palette than the first, but they, they almost look like they would be the same quality. I mean, I'm just looking at a picture, but they look like they'd be the same quality. And I also am surprised that they haven't launched this with just the insert. You'll see that little hole at the bottom of the inside of the palette. You can pull that out. I thought they would sell eyeshadow palettes from now on as an insert so that you can pop it into the first palette that you buy. That would make it a little cheaper because it's $160. Anyways, I wanted to pick this up for a hot moment there because I had such a bad experience with the first one that I was like, do I need to buy this one and see if it's better? And then also I did get a lot of content because of how much I hated the first one, but ultimately for $160, I decided to drop it. I almost said shop. I decided to drop it because it's just too expensive for me to risk knowing what I know with my current background knowledge. So it's a drop, but if any of you try it, please, please let me know. Your girl wants to know. And there also is a glow and care lip shine. Lipstick, it's $42 drop as well. Boring, don't want that. We're all about the eyeshadow palette, okay? Can you believe we already have holiday items being revealed? August and September is about the time that holiday makeup items begin to be revealed, so just prepare yourself. It always feels really, really early, but for the last four or five years, all of the holiday stuff has been launched this early on, which is crazy. But we have a new NARS holiday collection. There's little stars everywhere. Very cute. Not as luxurious as I feel like NARS has been in the past, but it's cute. So let's take a look at this blush palette. Uh, you guys know I am a fiend, a sucker for NARS blush palettes. I buy every single one. So this is no different. I will be shopping the blush palette. No rhyme or reason. I mean, it looks like we have a really nice dark, dark blush. Looks quite versatile. Um, and then probably their usual colors, star indentations or embossments, I guess, going on here. Doesn't look particularly special. It looks a little bit more berry-based than usual. I'm just buying it from a collector standpoint. The eyeshadow palette. Okay, look at the six colors on the left. Cover the right side of the colors. Dupe. Dupe city over here. That is so unoriginal. The right side, not super original, but I see that kind of like periwinkle lilac shade, maybe a little bit more on the unique side. Not exciting to me, really just another NARS 
duplicating themselves situation, but I'm gonna shop it. I love a good NARS holiday collection. Guilty pleasure, you know? Similar to how I feel about the Too Faced holiday palettes. Don't need them, but I will buy them and I don't care. I will shop them. Every year that I buy them, I like them. Even if they're repetitive, I don't care. It makes me feel good. It makes me happy. So I, I will buy these. I'm passing on everything that I'm seeing down below, like the lipstick and the ornaments. It's the cheek and eye palette that get me every single year. And I've stopped resisting. In the past, I would resist, 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 tell myself I didn't need it, and then I'd end up with it anyways. So I'm not, I'm not holding back. I'm getting it, and I'm not lying to you. I'm gonna get it, and I don't care if I need it or not. Okay, this one actually was super duper interesting to me. This is launching August 12th. August 12th is a very big launch date. <laughs> we have a lot of things launching, but Sephora Collection is launching their best skin ever concealer. And I've tried the foundation. I wasn't the biggest fan of it, but it's a very popular foundation from Sephora Collection. So I'm definitely curious to see what the concealer can give us. They have a great color range, it looks like. It's supposed to be full coverage with a natural finish, 50 shades. Um, so you can match it with your best skin ever foundation shade. Honestly, the shade I have is really, really light. I'd almost consider buying a deeper shade to see if that makes a difference and pairing them together. Maybe that's an option. It's going to be 15 dollars shopping this i'm curious because i've tried the foundation i want to see what we can do with the concealer and i love when i find a good sephora collection product because they're more affordable you know so yeah definitely gonna try that for you guys this is interesting from summer friday so they are launching their very first complexion product this is the sheer skin tint now i'm not in love with these super lightweight skin tint products. I review them for you guys because that's my job and also my skin, maybe not today, it's not in its best form. I went, side note, you can scold me. Actually, I need to be scolded. I, I was pinching things yesterday on my face so now I have more texture than I had yesterday before I started pinching. But anyways, my skin, generally speaking, has been a lot more clear. So I've been getting into skin tints, especially with me living in such a hot climate where I'd be so sweaty, you know, I've been wearing lighter, lighter coverage. So I've been enjoying that more. So moral of the story, like, let's get to the end of this. What was the point of that? I'm not sure if I'm going to pick this up. I've honestly never tried Summer Fridays ever, but it will be available August 16th. I'm gonna say drop for now, but if I buy it and I ha will have ended up lying to you if I buy it, I don't want to hear nothing about it, okay? Because I'm interested. When a new complexion product drops, I'm always interested. <laughs> so from what I'm able to see of everything that is on the trend mood page, those were the most interesting to me. I also just want to talk about, I'm getting this photo from Chic Profile Official of the new fall Dior collection. That blush looks beautiful here in the corner. Ooh. Anyway, so this is the Dior fall collection. The eyeshadows are available on the Dior website. I like the color on the left with the green. That's a little bit more my vibe and I think more of everybody's vibes. It actually ended up selling out the first day that it launched but I do believe it's back in stock again and then we have the warmer shade. I struggle with saying no to a Dior launch for some reason even though I literally trash 80% of their eyeshadows. The limited edition collections from them, they aren't as good and I don't know why I think the next collection is going to be the next best thing to prove me wrong. So this is the first Dior collection in a while that I think I'm going to drop because their limited edition collections don't hit. They don't. I, I haven't liked a limited edition Dior quint in forever. So as beautiful as the fall toned palettes that they have are, they're dupable colors. This is me talking to myself to try and talk myself out of it, by the way. They're dupable colors. And I don't like the limited edition formulas and the packaging are cheap. So I don't need it. So that's a drop. It's a drop. I want it though, but it's a drop. I do think that that is all I have to talk about today of all of the new makeup launches, whether or not I will be shopping or dropping in preparation for fall and the holiday season. Definitely brands are picking up their launches. So expect a few more shopper drops than normal just because the, the makeup season is coming up and I'm ready for it. I am, I love it. I love the constant makeup drops. I know a lot of you are like, 
not into that but it's a makeup reviewer stream let me tell you i have fun with that hustle and bustle but anyways thank you guys for hanging out with me talking about all of the new makeup products let me know your thoughts down below what stood out to you as the most exciting launch and then what is the most disappointing launch there's a lot of launches that i didn't mention in today's video because I didn't even want to waste my breath they weren't as interesting to talk about so yeah I think the number one thing I'm most excited about is probably the House Labs foundation. And then also the item I'm least excited about, but like also wanted to talk about with you was the Gucci eyeshadow palette. So anyways, thank you guys for liking this video and being subscribed to my channel. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.